Good morning, everyone. Welcome all of you to the worship service of Belfast United Methodist Church. How are you? I hope you are all well this morning. And also, I hope that you had a very nice Christmas day. Even though it was different from the previous year, still I believe God was with you, and also you were filled with joy and gratitude as you celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Today, I have a couple of announcements to share with you. First of all, uh, we canceled our drive-in worship service for today, so um, no drive-in service and no uh, in-person worship service. We have only this virtual service today. And then this Thursday, we uh, have our uh, Bible study. This, is, uh, uh, this Thursday is actually um, New Year's Eve, right? Uh, but still, we have our uh, Bible study gathering, so um, you are all invited um, on Thursday, 6.30. At 6.30, we have a um, moment to read the Bible. As we gather together, we share our thought and question from the message of the Bible. That would be a very meaningful time for you. All right, then. Um, these are the announcements that I want to share with you today. Now, I invite you to center yourselves for this moment to worship and praise our God. And let us together sing, Joyfully, good Christian friends rejoice. Christian to rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Keep your head to what we say. News, news, Jesus Christ is born today. Ox and has preserved a vow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today. Christ is born today. Good Christian friend rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Now we need not feel the grave. News, news, Jesus Christ was born to say. Call you one and call you all to gain his everlasting hold. Christ was born to save. Christ was born to save. Amen. And now please join me in the call to worship. Praise God from the heaven. Praise Him from the skies above. Praise God, angels and all the hosts of heaven. Praise Him, sun and moon and shining stars. Praise God, all creatures, great and small. Praise Him, animals and birds, reptiles and fish. Praise God, kings of the earth and people everywhere. Praise Him, men and women, young and old. Let all the earth bring praise to the Lord at whose word creation came into being. We gather to praise and worship our God. And now please join me in the prayer of uh, invocation. Reigning God, whose rule extends to the farthest stars, come to rule within us on this glorious day when the world became flesh once more to dwell among us. We open ourselves the light and long to offer our lives as a dwelling place for your truth. Speak to us again through the child of Bethlehem. Reach out to the child in each of us and hold us in the warmth of love's embrace. For we pray in his name. Amen.
Our scripture reading for us today is from the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir, through God. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Good morning again. Uh, today is the last Sunday in 2020. I can't believe that it is almost 2021. The year um, of 2020 has been very tough, probably tougher than any other years to most of you, right? However, looking back our lives in the year of 2020, I cannot help but giving thanks to God for what He has done for us. As we have worked together under these unprecedented uh, circumstances, we have been able to lead our church wisely and effectively. So now, let us together give thanks to God for us. I also give thanks to those who are on leadership teams, such as SPRC, Trustee Committee, Finance Committee, Caring Committee, Ed Council, Mission Committee, Education Committee. And also give thanks to those who continually pray for our church ministry and support it. May God bless you all in 2021 and also uh, bless our ministry as well. Now, the new year of 2001 is just around the corner. I believe that many of you have now a new kind of you know, resolutions, right? Whatever you plan for the new year, I pray God will help you, guide you, and lead you into the right direction. Over the course of the last several weeks, we have learned that Advent is time for waiting in anticipation. It was a time of looking for the ful uh, fulfillment of the um, you know, promised salvation from our God. It was also time for the restoration of our relationship with God as we wait for Jesus, our, uh, our Lord. During Advent, we have looked uh, forward in hope to the day when all flesh shall see the salvation of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have joyfully waited for the coming of the Lord into our lives with many unbreakable gifts. Thanks to Jesus' life, we are now God's children. Today, my sermon title is Christmas Gift. For the last four weeks, I have talked about unbreakable gifts such as hope, peace, joy, and love. And today, I would like to talk about one more gift, which is essential for Christianity, for our lives. Christmas story is all about God becoming a human being, Jesus Christ. We call it the incarnation of God. What do you think about God's incarnation? Why did God become a human like us? Today, as I share a story with you, I would like to present 
the true meaning, spiritual meaning of Christmas for each of us. I hope that would be meaningful for all of you. There was a man who didn't believe in the incarnation of God in flesh, who all could not comprehend the wonderful meaning of Christmas. This man and his family lived in a farm community. His wife was a devout Christian and diligently raised her children in the Christian faith. He sometimes gave her a hard time about her faith and also mocked her celebration of Christmas because the Christian faith is ridiculous nonsense to him. One snowy day, Christmas Eve, as she was taking the kids to the Christmas Eve service at the church, she pleaded with her husband to come with them, but he firmly refused. So she um, and the children left for the church while he stayed at home. After they left, the snow turned into a blizzard. A little while later, he heard a loud thump something hitting against the window. And there was another thump, so he ventured outside to see what was happening. In the field near his house, he saw a flock of geese. And they were apparently flying to a warmer area down south, but got caught in the snowstorm. They were lost and stranded on his farm without food or shelter. He had pity on them and wanted to help them. He thought to himself, the barn would be a great place for them to stay. It is warm and safe. Surely they could spend the night and wait out the storm. So he walked over to the barn, turned on the light, opened the barn doors for them. He waited, watching them, hoping they would notice the open barn and go inside. But they just fluttered around aimlessly and didn't notice the barn or realize what it could mean for them. He moved closer toward them to get their attention, but they just moved away from him out of fear. He went into the house and came back, uh, came back out with some bread, broke it up, and made a bread trail leading to the barn. They did not catch on. Starting to get frustrated, he went over and tried to shoot them, run after them, and chase them toward the barn. But nothing worked. He thought for a moment and realized that they just will not follow a human being because geese and human beings could not communicate with each other. The man realized that only way he could have uh, saved them was for him to communicate with these geese by becoming one of them. And then he remembered what he said to his wife. Why would God want to be like us? That's so ridiculous idea. Something clicked in his mind as though God turned, um, turned on a light uh, switch and he began to understand deep meaning of the incarnation of God. And he realized that human beings were like the geese, blind by a snowstorm, gone astray, and lost in darkness. God became a man so he could show us the way and make a way to save humanity. That is the spiritual meaning of Christmas. I believe that you all understand the true meaning, spiritual meaning of Christmas. God became like one of us for our salvation. In the text we read this morning, it says God sent his son Jesus Christ so that we all can become God's children. God's divine plan to save us is revealed in Christmas Day as God became a human being through Jesus Christ. I call this Christmas gift, which is the most important gift 
given to us. The new year is coming soon. Are you ready to live out Christianity in 2021? Are you ready to live your lives as God's beloved children? I believe you are, because you have received for your lives all the wonderful gifts, hope, peace, joy, and love, and Jesus Christ, the incarnation of God. I pray that all of you will be so blessed and so empowered in the year of 2021 as you continue your faith journey together. That's my prayer for you this morning. Amen. Now, uh, let us together have a moment to pray for those who are in need of God's healing presence. As we have a moment of silent prayer, uh, I invite you to lift up your prayer request to our God. God is listening to your prayer. So now let us together be in a prayer of silence. O oh God, to whom we come in gratitude, thanksgiving, and praise, we worship you this morning as a response to your outpouring love and blessings on each of us. We give you thanks this morning for the opportunity to worship together for the excitement of celebrating the miracle of the birth of Jesus Christ once again this year. Loving God, as we have been so richly blessed, may we also strive to pass the blessing on to others, to family and friends and neighbors. May we be able to share the light you brought to us with others. Merciful God, we pray for the people in need. We lift up those whom we presented to you this morning. And we lift up those whom we keep in our hearts. Lord, as you guide and bless us, we ask for you to lead them also out of the troubles. Lord, as you strengthen us, we also ask for you to give them your power and strengthening them. Lord, help our friend and our um, help our friend and comfort them. And Almighty God, we pray for your church as well. You have guided us so far in the year 2020 to serve your beloved people. Help and bless us to continue serving them with your love and grace in the year to come. Guide us to be a community which shows others God's loving ways. Loving God, looking back our lives in the year 2020, we give thanks to you for what you have done and we now hope for the blessing and we pray for the blessing in the year to come as we continue our faith journey together as we continue praying for each other as we continue serving one another in Jesus' name we pray amen and now let us together say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now, out of gratitude for the love of God, we offer our time, talent, and treasure.
Let us together say the prayer of dedication. Holy One, your heart abounds with gift. Receive this offering as a sign of our trust in Jesus Christ our Savior and our intention to live surrounded by your Spirit, inspired by your Spirit, open to the joy of your presence, hospitable to one another, and generous toward your world. Amen. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, repent of their sins, and seek to live in peace with one another. Lift all your hearts and give thanks to the Lord our God. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, you made us in your image to love and be loved. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. By the suffering, death, and resurrection of your only Son, Jesus Christ, you delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the suffer was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these your mighty actions, Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice, in union with Christ offering for us. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us, and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them before us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world, the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Body of Christ broken for us. Blood of Christ shed for us for our salvation. So let us together take both of them. Let us pray. Eternal God, we give thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your Spirit to give ourselves for others in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our closing hymn for our worship service today is Angels We Have Heard on High. Let us together sing. singing all the plains and the mountains in replies 
echoing their joyous strains. Gloria in ecstasy's day, oh, Gloria in ecstasy's day, oh. Shepherd, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strength prolong? What the gladsome tidings be, which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria in excess is Deo. In excess is Deo. Amen. Let us pray. Go in peace, love and care for one another in the name of Christ. And may the blessing of God who established heaven and earth fill your heart and pour forth from you upon all people. May the blessing of the Lord, who is born anew each Christmas time, call you toward a new tomorrow. And may the blessing of the Spirit, who refreshes and renews all creation, guide and lead you as you enter the new year. Amen.